Do you guys remember back in 2008, the financial crisis that pretty much almost ended our economy as we know it? I know a lot of you may be too young, but if you remember it, it was a tough time. Houses ended up going down, stocks crashed, the bank ended up going crazy with a lot of people going bankrupt and having their houses foreclosed. It was very, very scary. However, Warren Buffett explained it perfectly, and that's what we're going to be going over today. Warren Buffett never lost his faith that the US economy would recover. Obviously, he knew that this would happen. He knew that we'd be back on the right path when the market crash ended up happening. He stated, the factories don't disappear. The farmland doesn't disappear. The skills of people don't disappear during a crisis. But there's no way of knowing when you're in a situation like we were in the fall of 2008 and 2009, when or precisely how it will end. He was a very optimistic dude. He never really lost hope and was always on the end of things when it came to keeping a positive attitude. Mr. Buffett, who is a chairman and chief executive of Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated, he ended up sitting down in a video interview with the Wall Street Journal to reflect on the causes and legacy of the financial crisis that hit its peak almost a decade ago. He was also recalled in his own role in the responding to the crisis. Now, Berkshire is known for having the ability to do deals when other companies are strapped for cash. Mr. Buffett has famously said his strategy is to be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. He always has that kind of like dog in him he's attacking and that's why Berkshire Hathaway has turned into the multi-billion dollar company that it is today. During the crisis, Berkshire helped rescue blue chip companies that included Goldman Sachs Group, Incorporated when they were down 0.30% in General Electric Company. In total, Berkshire's investments in September and October of 2008 exceeded $15 billion. Now, the reason they ended up doing this, and Buffett explains it perfectly, is because they didn't want the main big dogs or the ones on the up and coming to crash and completely go bankrupt and have to file for bankruptcy. This was a very smart investment on their part because now these companies are worth a combined 100 billion plus dollars. I mean, it's easily worth more than that. But still, it was a very good strategy and the technique definitely paid off. But Mr. Buffett also turned down requests for financial lifelines from some struggling companies. He explains that he declined to help Lehman Brothers Holdings Incorporated and also the American International Group during the 2008 crisis. During this time, they were up 0.35%. Now, this doesn't seem like a lot, but during the crisis, to be up in percentage was kind of anything close to a miracle. So it played off big in the long run. He says one of the lessons in the 2008-2009 experience was the fact that every company in the United States was a domino, and those dominoes were placed right next to each other, he said. So when they started toppling, everything was in line. He explains this very, very well and says it was just kind of a complete market crash and there was nothing we really could have done or could have done or prepared to get ahead of it. Now, in Buffett's view, the long-term value of innovative American business would continue to grow, despite the short-term pain of the crisis. Buffett warned against investing in highly leveraged entities or businesses in weak competitive positions. He urged readers to see that the downturn provided an opportunity to buy strong companies at low, low prices. In short, bad news is an investor's best friend. It lets you buy a slice of America's future at the markdown price. He explains that fears regarding the long-term prosperity of the nation, many sound companies make no sense. These businesses will indeed suffer earning hiccups, and as they always have, but most major companies will be setting the new profit records 5, 10, and 20 years from now. That prediction ended up turning out to be correct. In the 10 years since the fall of the Lehman Brothers, S&P 500 has increased by 130%. Companies like Apple and Amazon have soared to new heights hitting trillion dollar valuations. When you look at this back in 2008, it would have made a lot of sense, obviously. Now, if you invested 1,000 in Apple in early 2008, it would have been worth more than $9,222.50 as of the very next day after August 1st. Over nine times as much including price appreciation and excluding dividends according to CNBC calculations. Now, Buffett claims that something like this, it would be very rare to happen again as the market ends up crashing every, you know, century he'd say. And it's because of the over fluctuation of prices and the inflation of different type of marketplaces going to market. Now, ways we can avoid this, he says, you gotta make sure you're always ready. 
always have a plan B, even though you're focusing on your plan A, always have some backup money, a plan B, what's gonna happen if this happens. You just gotta be ready for anything that's gonna happen. If you're not, you're going to be very confused and left and dazed. That was really scary back in 2008 when all these houses and companies were closing and foreclosing. Let us know what you were doing back in 2008 and if this affected you in any way. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm signing off and as always, see y'all later.